game one of our Philly Hoop Group Classic triple header, James Madison and Ryder. Oh, when he takes himself inside, doesn't hang around on the perimeter, that's when he's really hard to guard. That's a guy you have to go out and guard, Julius Wells. So that's forced them to rethink about whether or not to redshirt. Goins really gives them a physical presence as Hitchens now getting his, cans the three where he probably should have shot it. Nine times out of ten, just keep it and go yourself. A strong move. That was a man's move on the play by Allian Duth. And one more. JMU will continue to play the front runners up five. That's for three, and down it goes for A.J. Davis. Coming in at 42%, that's pretty good. He gets six for six. Humpty Hitchens getting his. Ryder hanging around in spite of their rash of turnovers. That is a three, and it rattles home A.J. Davis. Hitchens in breakdown mode. Thompson, his best to stay with him. Oh, Seven nice off for the youngster Hood. Davis the hustle and Swindle the slam back. The big fella's got it going on. Wells giving it up. It's Davis for a three and down it goes. Tough matchup with his size off the bounce and also can stretch you out to the three point line. Boy, another three from A.J. Davis. Was it going on here in the second half? About one over 20 games last year. Won 82 games over the last four years under Tommy Dempsey. A school record. And a ton of open threes now for JMU. Seminoff as Ryder was up pushing, hoping for some kind of a steal. And that was the reason for my question earlier, whether or not Gatson had the ability to take over, because frankly, Ryder has needed somebody step up in the second half because they've had no answer for this guy, A.J. Davis, yet another three for him. But Matt Brady's team exploding in the second half, led by the junior and his shooting, A.J. Davis. And they go on to defeat the Ryder Bronx in game one of our triple header, the Philly Hoop Group Classic here on the Comcast Network. The final score... 86 to 69.